Hey everybody, it's Patrick Freewald from Frog's Point, and it's May 9th, it's snowing, and today we are going to make chicken wings. Now I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things about chicken wings is getting them very, very crispy. But like you, you're probably a fat guy too, and so you don't need all that fat. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to use two things. We're going to use the sous vide and the air fryer. Now I haven't had a sous vide for very long. I love this thing, I use it all the time, but it really, it's not necessary for this recipe if you just start with fresh wings. I started with frozen, and so par baking them in the sous vide is a really nice way to get them up to temperature and to make it so they're not thawed and that, so that they'll cook up super, super nice. But if you just start with raw, unfrozen chicken, you'll be fine. Now look, there's nothing magical about an air fryer. It's really just a convection oven. If you have a convection oven, you can use that. It'll be fine. Everything will turn out okay. Just cook them on a rack. If you have a regular oven and you don't have an air fryer, you can do it that way too. Just keep in mind that you want to put a sheet pan, line it with foil, put a rack like a cookie rack or something on top of that, and bake them on top of that. It'll probably take a little longer and they won't come out quite as crispy, but it'll still come out really good. So if you don't have the special equipment, it's okay. Now the sous vide might be my favorite cooking appliance. It is fantastic. And for par baking wings, it's really, really easy. All you gotta do, you can take them right from frozen, stick them in a bag, and then put them in the machine. Make sure it's nice and full. I'm gonna leave the top of that lid out to keep any of that water from leaking in. You don't necessarily have to do that if you've got a, an air a vacuum sealer or whatnot. And then we're gonna leave it there. It's set for 140. We're gonna let it go for about 45 minutes. And that's gonna par cook the wings, not completely at all, uh, but that's gonna get them uh, ready for the next step. So the wings are out of the sous vide, but they are damp. They look very rubbery. They're still pretty raw. They have not cooked fully by any stretch of the imagination, and that's what we want. But wetness is the enemy of crispy. So we are going to blot them dry, as dry as we can get them with paper towels. Um, I know paper towels are a precious quarantine commodity, but chicken wings are a precious food. And you want these to be just as absolutely dry as you can get them. You don't want to leave any bit of moisture left. There's no grand secret to doing a spice rub. You've got your dry wings, you've got dry clean hands, you've got your rub. You sprinkle it on, you rub it in. That's it. Now this is Frog's Point Rub, what we made in the last video. You can use as little or as much as you want. I suggest using quite a bit. And it is a rub, so don't just sprinkle it on. You gotta rub it in there, okay? Rub it in nice and good. If you're not happy with it and you don't have quite as much as you want, rub on a little bit more. And when you're done, don't forget to wash your hands. Put your wings in the basket. It doesn't matter whether or not they touch, but you don't want them to overlap too much. This is our air fryer. There are a lot of different brands of them. What I can tell you about this one is that it's a Cook's Essential. My wife got it off of QVC, and when you pull the basket out, it looks a lot like a purple Jake Sully from Monsters, Inc. Now here's the part that's going to sound really weird. You're going to take your wings, you're going to put them in your air fryer that has been set at 250 degrees for 30 minutes. Now I know what you're thinking. 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes isn't even going to fully cook these wings, much less make them crispy. And you're right. What this step does is it allows the bicarbonate and the baking powder to react with the fat in the skin and it's going to produce something that's really, really crispy. Now that our time is up, we are going to now pull them out. We're going to give them a quick toss. We're going to put them back in for 24 minutes at 400 degrees. We are not going to use all, four, uh, all 24 of those minutes, so we're going to check them in eight. Okay, eight minutes is up, so we're going to pull them out. We're going to give them a look. They're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty crispy. I told you we were not going to use those full eight minutes, or those full 24 minutes. So we're going to throw them back in. We're going to give them probably another four and see what they look like. 
Making hot sauce is a topic for another video, but making wing sauce is super easy. Just take some butter or margarine, melt it, add hot sauce, and you're done. Of course, you can't go wrong with Carolina Reaper honey from Frog's Point Honey. Okay, I pulled these out after eight minutes, gave them a shake, uh, then I shook them again for four minutes, checked them for another four, and they are perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to get them in a bowl and we're going to sauce them up. There's no trick to saucing wings. You just pour the sauce over them and give it a quick toss and you're good to go. Those are done. Here, our next set with our hot honey, we're going to take our Carolina Reaper hot honey from Frog's Point. We're going to drizzle some on. And that's all she wrote. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is so good, you won't believe it. And there you have it. Spicy wings, two ways. They're super crispy. They're super moist and tender on the inside. They're everything you love about a chicken wing. This spice rub really comes through. The skin is super crisp. The meat is soft and tender. Mm. Mm. It is amazing. You gotta give it a try. Cheers.